Dneska se podíváme, kolik vydělává a jak funguje biznis nejúspěšnějšímu youtuberovi všech dob, mistru Beastovi. Graham Stefan, finanční youtuber, za ním vyrazil a ptal se ho na zajímavé finanční otázky. Jdeme se na to podívat. Well, I never thought that this would happen, and no, I'm not talking about being stuck inside of a makeshift jail cell, but instead getting an inside look into the business of one of the most successful creators of all time, Mr. Beast. 96,000 a month. 157 million views. Počkej, počkej, tady nám ukazuje své studio a neukazuje nám hlavní kanál, ukazuje nám španělský kanál, ale jdem se podívat na ty čísla. Na jeho španělském kanálu 157 milionů views a má tam revenue 96 tisíc dolarů, čili 2 miliony korun na 157 milionů views. To není moc, čovače, počkej. 12 700 korun na milion. To není moc? No má to ve Španělsku, tam asi nejsou tak dobrý CPM jako v Americe a on hlavně to má pak ještě asi menší, protože má hodně views, takže pravděpodobně se mu tam nenabalí tolik reklam. Čím víc views ten kanál má, tak se to spíš jakoby snižuje. Mrkneme dál, ukáže nám určitě ještě další čísla, jdem na to. That's why when you say like, well, do you set aside money? 39 days of no video and you can still do that on a side channel. From his humble beginnings, Jimmy Donaldson was able to turn his genuine passion for making YouTube videos into a conglomerate to businesses, restaurants, charities and investments. And today we're getting an inside look into Forbes' highest paid creator, allowing us to see exactly how he spends his day and his money. Enjoy. When is the moment that you realized that you could turn this into a business? Probably when I started making around $20,000, $30,000 a month is when it kind of clicked in my head. I was just like, wait a minute. If I just had a helper, I could do this two times faster. I could upload twice as much. And so then I just brought on a guy to help me move boxes and just help with the simple stuff. And I was like, oh, well, now let me go hire an editor. And then I just basically hired someone every month for the last like six years. Tohle je třeba věc, kterou na něm obdivu, že to dokázal jako naškálovat. To my jsme z Viral Brothers vlastně nikdy nedokázali, protože to všechno stálo vždycky na nás. Jako má to své výhody, že nemáte pod sebou pak tisíc lidí, kteří jsou na vás závislí a můžete si jako dělat jako co chcete, měnit žánry a tohle je takový svobodnější, ale to škálování zase vám přineše tady ty, ty velký prachy, no podívejte, kam to až dostal. Jdem dál. Yeah, so we have Basically cameras for different things. Um, as the videos have gotten crazy, we've just built up a giant arsenal of stuff. How many hours do you work in a day? I would say since I was 11 years old, almost every waking hour of the day, I'm thinking of YouTube in some form or capacity. To je přesně věc, proč je tak úspěšný, protože na něm jde opravdu vidět, že to je jeho celý život, že prostě fakt jede. Zatím nepřestal, jo. Já jsem právě zvědavý, jak dlouho mu to vydrží, kdy přijde ten jeho pík, protože to přijde podle mě u každého člověka, kdy prostě si uvědomí, hele, možná už to není to, co bych chtěl dělat. Podle mě to možná přijde až s rodinou, protože to vám úplně změní svět, jo. Si uvědomíte, že to není na prachách. A on je ještě strašně mladý, takže podle mě on pojede ještě hodně dlouho, jo. Na něm to jde vidět, jak někdo to zažraný. A to, to podle mě ten úspěch právě přichází u těch lidí, kteří jsou zažraný do něčeho. A nepřestanou a prostě rubou. I feel like it was almost like baked in my DNA. Like it yeah. just flows in my blood the the innate urge to create videos and to build a YouTube channel and build businesses. It's just that's just what I do and if I like try to take time off, I just get depressed and I, mm. I feel like I lose my sanity. Tenhle pocit si mimochodem pamatuju také, když jsme byli na té křivce růstový z Viral Brothers, tak si pamatuju, že když jsem tomu nevěnoval mojí mozkovou kapacitu, když jsme šli třeba někam ven jako bavit se jak normální lidi, já jsem nemohl. Já jsem prostě už přemýšlel pořád nad tím, jak to posunout dál. To si fakt jako pamatuju, že jsem to měl taky. But I also feel like I lose my sanity because we crank the treadmill so much on creating videos. So it's like weird, but if I'm not creating, then I don't feel fulfilled. I don't feel like I'm progressing. Then I feel like I'm wasting my time. The problem I'm having right now is I struggle to wind down at night because I just work and work and I'll lay in bed and I'll think of ideas and I'll think of just like, you know, what we could have done better, how we could edit a video better or finances or whatever. So I'm trying to like actually find ways to like pull back a little bit and so I sleep a little bit better. To je podle mě mírná nevýhoda toho jeho modelu, protože on to jako naškáloval sice ten biznis, ale on je pořád tam prostě klíčový hráč, on je prostě strašně důležitý. On tam prostě musí být, on to musí i vymýšlet, jo. On tam musí být v těch videích, on to musí věnovat 100% času, takže je to závislí na něm. A teď podle mě to je to, co ho nenechá vyspat nebo trošku jako stepnout dolů, protože má pod sebou už ty lidi, na který on je zodpovědný, kteří spolíhají zase na něho. No, jakoby já jsem fakt zvědavý, jak ten příběh mistra Vista jako bude pokračovat v dalších letech, jak dlouho to dokáže jet ještě na tomhle levelu, protože mi to přijde brutus, jako co jede. Hopefully it's not too messy. So I have everything I need in here. Um, my bed, my work computer, a little bench press to get exercise in, a toilet and a shower, 
and that's my closet. I was on the cover of Rolling Stone recently, which who cares about magazines, whatever, but Steve Jobs was also on the cover of Rolling Stone. So I'm getting this blown up to be the same size as this. So I can have like just matching posters of us both on the cover of Rolling Stone. Could you walk us through a, a normal day? Next week, I'm gonna be flying to India to stay in like a $1 hotel and then like a $10,000 hotel in the Maldives. And then when I get back, well, that means gaming and reacts fall behind. So I'm gonna have to do a whole day of catching up on our reacts videos. And I'm gonna have to do a day or two catching up on our gaming videos. And then I've been gone. So now I gotta spend a whole day catching up on the creative and all our other main channel videos. And then the video after that, we're gonna do like the world's largest experiments. Like we're trying to make the world's largest balloon, you know, and then Beast Burger and Feastables are probably gonna want my head on a platter because I just spent two weeks traveling filming that video and I haven't been talking to them as much. So then probably those meetings will probably fly into town. That's what I'm talking about. Not only má ty biznesy k tomu jeho podnikání a k tomu velkému kanálu. On si založil ještě další, já nevím, x kanálu, kde on taky je hlavní jakoby postava, musí tam taky chodit ty herní, že jo, má ty reakce, pak má vlastně ty přeložený, tam vlastně um, už nefiguruje, tomu dělá firma, takže to je v pohodě, ale pak ještě má ty biznesy, že jo, ty burgery, wow. The main channel is the priority and then around the main channel schedule the rest of my life kind of like forms with all the other businesses. Yeah. Well, these are just our English channels, yeah. so then we're gonna have Spanish, Portuguese, Brazil, Japanese, Hindi, and they'll probably go down to like here. No, má trošku víc batonů než já. Hm. Mimochodem, já nemám ani ten zlatý. Jsme měli několik milionových kanálů. Já nemám ani jeden. Nevím, nikdy jsme si o to nenapsali. Hm. Nevadí, no. Hm. Hmm. My well of knowledge needs to constantly be expanding, so I have more things to draw inspiration from from our ideas. If not, you're gonna get the same ideas over and over again. So it happens for a lot of creators. That's why their videos are repetitive and always the same thing. Because if you're not constantly learning new things, then your ideas are just limited to what's in your head, and eventually you're gonna drain it. Vynikající myšlenka. Pokud se neučíte nové věci, tak vám dojdou nápady, které jedou z toho, co máte v hlavě. Super myšlenka. Lidi si myslí, že skončí škola, konec učení, a teď už budou jenom vydělat prachy. Ne. Učit se celý život. Ty nejúspěšnější se učí celý život. How many hours would you say it takes to edit the average video? So our 100 million subscriber special, I think we were just doing the math. I think it was like collectively like 1700 hours across all the editors. 1700 hodin, what the fuck? 70 dní v kuse, 24 hodin denně, jedno video. Uh, hard work poráží talent. Tak to prostě, kdo dře? tak prostě porazí ten talent. Máš zařízený, že video se stříhá 70 dní, des, nějaký desetiminutový na YouTube, 70 dní v kuse, tak to asi bude banger. Damn. The thing is like, I'm not the easiest to work with in that regard. Like I really want to make the video as good as possible. And so we'll just be like, well, what if we try this? And so we'll have to like, like basically re-edit the video to see if this other way produces a better story and, and if it flows better. And it's a lot of testing. So we usually edit a video like, you know, five or seven times. Working for Jimmy is like the most particular process. If he's not completely happy with the video, then it just keeps on going for like, like an extra week. And we'll just every single day, it's like, it's, it's a long process. But at the same time, it improves quality. Apparently, if you make a pee joke, it will drop your attention by around 5%. No pee jokes, that's just a no-go. No matter how funny it is. I mean, I think it's funny, but doesn't matter. It's just a no-go. Like you can't do that. It's just, no, no. Do you ever take days off? So I found, giving into my natural instinct works best. So I just work every day, every hour of the day, um, until I just burn out. Takže dobře, nejde každý den a ten jde na dřeň a pak prostě odpadne, ale co ta dlouhodobá věc, jakoby, že takhle jede každý den po několik let, tam taky přece dochází šťáva, ne? Jak tohle refiluje? Anytime I try to stick to a schedule, it just doesn't work. Because there are certain Saturdays I'm just fired up and like God himself couldn't stop me from going and working yeah. on a video. And then there are other Saturdays the way I'm burnt out and so, Yeah, I just I just kind of give in to my emotions and just work when I want to. All their walls are whiteboard paint. Yeah. So all throughout here is just all our upcoming videos. This yeah. is the, the box they delivered the 100 million. I'm gonna be 100% honest, I had never even read it. I didn't realize it was really? customized for every person. Remind me to read that later. <laughs> I thought it was just the copy print to everyone. Do you know how many income sources you have? That's an interesting one. Well, let's see, we have Beast Burger. Uh, Feastables. We have a, a company where we dub channels, which runs our Mr. Beast Espanol and stuff like that. We do that for other people. We have Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast Gaming, Beast Reacts. Yeah, merch as another one. Honestly, I'd have to like open my bank account, <laughs> and look through it, because like there's also like 
sub opportunities. Like we occasionally do things for like, we built this app, we had people put their finger on the app. Yeah, yeah so we're building other apps in the future. No, tady lítají sami miliony v těch videích. Já mám sice miliony dát tady nemůžu, ale můžu vám dát aspoň něco. Máme tady sponzora Veda Trading 212, který rozdává akci zdarma. Pojďme si ho pustit. Tohle video je sponzorováno investiční aplikací Trading 212, která rozdává akcie zdarma až do hodnoty 2,5 tisíce korun. A to pro všechny, kteří si ji stáhnou a zadají v ní kód ERIK. Postup je jednoduchý. Krok 1. Stáhni si aplikaci Trading 212. Krok 2. Zaregistruj se do Invest účtu. Krok 3. Nahrej depozit minimálně 30 korun. Poslední krok. Zde v nastavení dejte Use promo kód a zadejte tam kód ERIK. No a jakmile akcí, kterou jste vyhráli, akceptujete, do 72 hodin pracovních ji uvidíte ve svém účtu. Pokud chcete ještě podrobnější návod, dám vám odkaz na celé video o aplikaci do popisku tohohle videa. Tak jo, přeji hodně štěstí, ať vyhrajete tu nejlepší, jako například tihle. A teď už jdeme zpátky na video. To bude určitě business, nebude to ani YouTube, ani sponsoring, bude to business. So I'll say yeah. this, because I tweet it, you can throw it up, that uh, Beast Burger has done over 100 million in sales. 100 milionů v tržbách, eh, za jak dlouho, za rok? 2 miliardy. Samozřejmě tržby, jo, Bůh ví, jestli tam vůbec je ziskový, třeba to mohli nakupnout ještě, a třeba tam ani nejsou ziskový v tomhle, jo, ale... And obviously that number has grown a lot bigger since then, so like, But again, it's because it's something people can repeatedly buy. Merch, the best margins, but you know, it's, you just, like a burger or whatever, you know, it's something someone can order multiple times a week. Merch, they're only gonna buy like twice a year. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What about sponsorships? Oh yeah, and sponsorships. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, those have gotten crazy recently. I'll tell you over or under. What's, what's the most you think I've gotten for a brand deal? Three million. Uh... <laughs> well, uh, I was hoping you would say something lower. We've definitely done deals around that ballpark, yes. <laughs> Graham je zkušený, Graham ví, jak to chodí. Takže teplo 3 miliony vypadá to, že, že to bude nějaký top. Kam taky se Mr. Beast dostal? 60 milionů korun za jeden sponsoring v jeho videu. Tak jeho video má přes 50 milionů views, jo? Z amerických views hlavně. No, jako, dává to smysl, no? How many people work for you? It's definitely getting big. I, I'd say in general, right? Between feastables and all the stuff we're doing, like full-time salary, probably 150 people. Maybe, maybe 200, just kind of depends. Kolik může mít průměrný zaměstnanec u mistra Vista plat? Já nevím, 50 tisíc korun? Což je 10 milionů jenom náklad na zaměstnance. So a lot of like part-time jobs and second-hand jobs that are spun off and that's where it gets into like the hundreds, but... Mm. Yeah. This is our studio. It's around 40,000 square feet. Studio space in America currently is in very high demand. People are, are struggling to keep up because content creation just in general is growing year over year. So having a big place like this with no beams, which is what was here when we bought them, there's like hundreds of these, which is how most warehouses are. You can't film movies, you can't film content in them. So it's very, very hard because it's expensive. It's much easier just to throw up beams to hold up the roof to find wide open space like this with none. So that's why spaces like this are pretty rare. Do you know how much it costs in terms of running your overall business every month? Like on the gaming channel, we probably are spending like, I don't know, depends, like a couple hundred thousand a month, reacts a couple hundred thousand a month. The main channel now, probably like three or four million a month. Jenom main channel, 60, 80 milionů náklady na vý, výrobu těch videí. No tak ty krásy, tak on musí vydělávat raketu, jako aby tohle všechno pokryl. Ale on někde říkal, že on jako to jede docela nadřeň, že skoro všechno, co jako vydělá, tak hnedka reinvestuje. Um, like Feastables is spending probably a million or so a month, Beast Burger, same thing. I mean, if you're including like marketing and stuff, a couple million a month. So I mean, even like our Beast uh, Philanthropy, our, our charity, you know, I put a lot of money into that so we can have food and stuff like that, so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting pretty crazy. Who manages that? Um, well, if you go over there up those stairs, you'll see a little accounting team that I walk in and I go, I want to give 100 people $100,000. They go, you're crazy. And I'm like, good luck. <laughs> and here is 10 other doors. And those are the people that I stress out with money. The money is best spent in like just doing grander things that I find interesting, that are unique, original, and like, for the most part, you can't find what we do anywhere else, yeah. at, not at the scale we do. Myslíte, že Mr. Beast uh, dává do S&P 500 něco, kdyby dává pro jistotu, nebo já nevím. Mě je zajímalo, jak, jestli jako, asi ne, podle mě, protože on má těch biznesů tolik, že to, to je jeho diversifikace, jeho investit, že jo? And I think it's like, that is where I want to put the money in, because then that's what gets people coming back, they enjoy it, 
and then everything else benefits. Yeah. Do they make sure that money is like put aside just for you, like just in case? People have been saying that since I had a million subscribers and the videos give views even if I don't upload. So yeah. like if I really wanted to, I could just stop spending and just live off the money. 531,000. 500 000 za hodinu views. Myslím, že tak takovým jsme občas taky sahali. Myslím, že jsme to tam taky někdy měli tady tyhle velký čísla, kdy se to rozfrčelo. Full disclosure, wow. it's late at night. I haven't uploaded in a while. Um, oh my god. When gosh. we uploaded the island video, we were doing 5 million an hour. No, tak dobře, no, tak. To máš lepší, no, teda. <laughs> so here's... Look at all the channels. Here's the other channels. Pick any channel you want. $63,000 a month. Literally, all I want to do is make the best videos possible. Yeah. That's why I live in the studio right over there. So I don't, like, I'm not worried about paying for a mansion. I don't drive a Lamborghini. I purposely have a really, like, dumbed down lifestyle. So when, because it gives you freedom. Like, you know, most people can't reinvest in a business because when they get to this level, they're worried about their $10 million mansion. They're like four or five cars and insurance and keeping up with that. And then like their second home and all these other things. I just cut it all out. I have no like personal debt or th like things, you know, that I have to pay for. So I can just go all in on the business because it's like, it doesn't even matter. You know what I mean? How much do you think it costs to build an elevator? Uh, my guess here is probably going to be 80 grand. Uh, I think that was around 200,000. Why so much? I th I said the same thing. <laughs> I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, an elevator is like 20 grand. <laughs> How do you plan to expand the business? Ooh, that's where it gets fun. I think for starters, you know, I just want to keep making the best videos possible. I have to reiterate, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but uh, everything I do stems from that. Because if I stop making the best videos, people stop watching. And then Feastables is irrelevant. Beast Burger is irrelevant. All the companies are just literally irrelevant. So that, and then stemming off from that, um, next I really want to get into making mobile games. I think that'd be a lot of fun because we have a gaming channel that gets like 20 million views a video. Tady jde vidět toho přemýšlení. Má gaming channel, který mu dělá 20 milionů uh, views nebo kolik. A hnedka si prostě spojí. No, ale když já vytvořím svoji nějakou mobilní hru a tu tam budem hrát, tak bude mít hnedka přes miliony stažení. Cing, cing, a je to, že jo. And then I really want to scale up festivals, launch new products. We're going to launch cookies. And then Beast Burger, we're getting into building physical locations. So in two weeks, we open our first physical Beast Burger. We have 2,000 virtual. We're building that. And then based on how that goes, I want to build 10, and then 50, and then 100 physical locations. Um, and just, you know, keep leveraging the brand. I like pushing myself, and I see it as a sport, and like going hard in business and, and building them. Um, even though it's stressful and it's very difficult and like sometimes I'm like, you know, you have a mental breakdown You're like, why am I doing this? Why did I push myself so hard? But then when you're not doing it, you're just depressed. So it's like yeah. a weird System, a weird situation, but I love it, but yeah. sometimes I don't. To slyším podle mě poprvé, kdy, kdy Mr. Beast tam měl trošku slabší chvilku, kdy řekl, miluju to, ale občas ne. Jakoby, že na každý to přece musí dolehnout, jakoby taková hard work, jako po tolika letech. Ten, že on jako bude plynout, plynout a podle mě pak bude mít děti, rodinu, tohle, priority se změní, tohle, někdy to prostě musí, jakoby ten jeho drive takhle dojet, ne? Nebo já nevím, jo, třeba je mimo zemštěna, pojede tak 100 let, jo, nevím. 24? No tak on má 24. No jo, to jsou ty noví youtubeři, kteří začínali, když byli malí. Ty vole, ve 24 my jsme teprve začínali, to jsme teprve začínali vyrát, Brothers, když jsem měl 24. To jsme teprve začínali. No tak to může růbat ještě dlouho. <laughs> ne, podle mě fakt je nejlepší, kdo chce v životě dokázat velké věci, tak je nejlepší fakt rubat od mládí, protože tam máte fakt nejvíc energie, největší drive, nic vás nezastaví, protože nemáte žádnou zodpovědnost, nemáte rodinu, nemáte další věci, co by vám utíkaly. Fakt je nejlepší prostě se do toho opřít hned, jo, nečekat na nic. We're going to try to do a uh, world's largest hydraulic press versus a Lambo, see if we can squish it. Then we're going to do uh, we're going to put a rocket on a car and see how many buses it can jump over. Um, and then world's largest elephant toothpaste, world's largest paper airplane. What's your biggest insecurity? Like our videos are very fast paced. And so sometimes you do have to give up a little bit of the story to, in, in order to keep the videos moving. Of anything, it would be that. Like a lot of people think the only reason we get views is because I just throw money at it and they don't realize that, you know, we spent a decade just studying what does well, um, you know, studying, figuring out our own style, figuring out our own way to do things. And the amount of hours I put into like just expanding the inspiration in my brain just so I can come up with original ideas and the, like the months on months we spend building the sets and working on it and the weeks we spend editing and all this and then you know they're just like oh that, he just spent money that's it that's there's nothing special you know what I mean that speaking so of cool. which yeah you want to see where we store our money let's see almost every area of the internet points to YouTube so I think YouTube's going to keep growing it's mind-blowing and you can leverage that to build businesses or you know like do things like Beast Philanthropy or whatever I think like 
people don't realize just how crazy it is. For us, we have 100 million people on average that watch almost everything we put up. It's the laser-like focus and obsession. And it's just kind of what I aim to like implement in our videos because it's, yeah, it's just beautiful to see. Hey, you should subscribe right now. That, you know, a lot of people who wouldn't have done it because they just didn't think of it are now thinking about it and it will convert to like 10 or 20,000. So literally just say it and you're good. Podle mě to nefunguje. Subscribe. Hmm. Stejně nic. <laughs> Řekl to tam asi ve dvou slo slovech. Laser focus a obsession. Pokud jste posedlí a laserově zafokusovaný na ten váš cíl, tak jedete a podle mě prostě není možný se tam nedostat. Ještě se mrknem, kolik nám píše Forbes o mistrovi Beastovi, kolik vydělal. 2021 prý vydělal 54 milionů dolarů. Přes všechny ty jeho biznesy a všechno, což je miliarda korun. Takže to má 100 milionů zhruba měsíčně. No je to raketa, má můj velký respekt. Mr. Beast je prostě borec a přeji mu to, protože si to zaslouží. Zaslouží si to za to, jak maká. Za tu práci, co prostě dělá 24-7, jak to všechno posouvá dál a nepřestává. To se prostě zaslouží. Tak jo, to bylo pro dnešek všechno takové odreagovací video, jo, takový inspirativnější. Doufám, že se vám líbilo. Nezapomeňte si vězenou tu akci zdarmáž do hodnoty 2,5 korun. Návod v popisku videa a uvidíme se zase někdy příště. Ahoj!